Hello everyone. Today's another day with Patty's Hobby World. I want to thank everyone who has subscribed, liked, and watched my previous YouTube channels. I really appreciate it. And um, as I explained before, I'll explain why I need your likes and your views and your subscribes. Okay. But today, and for the next couple of videos ahead of us, we're, I'm going to be talking about the coloring books that I have and the pages that I've colored in. All right. So my first book, because I love Johanna Besford's flowers, I bought World of Flowers by Johanna Besford. Bassford. So when I got her uh, book, I was uh, excited. I know many of you probably have it. And there is uh, several um, flip-alongs in the uh, on the internet great quality paper really hard really good stock paper um, and you can color from page one so you can actually color this page if you want she all she also has a lift out a leaf out where she's got a double page connected and I'm uh, actually working on one of those if you watch my YouTube channel um, coloring stone walls that is a flip out of her of her book all right and of course there is the first page and I should have had my name in there um, I was practicing with background color um, to create some uh, more dimension to the to the actual picture she gives you introduction tips on coloring you know and my tip to everyone is to create your own style see here's a double page um, this page is double now there are pictures on both sides, so if you're working with markers, you may have to choose what side you want. But if you are coloring with um, color pencils, then you're good. But markers, they will bleed through. So here's another, another double pager. I'm going to color this, um, but I'm working on my stone wall one first, and then I'm going to get to this one. So I'm just going to flip through a couple of pages. And then I'm going to show you what I, I finished. So I saw this basket on YouTube and they did a great job. So just, just showing you one of the pages and her little, little, her bugs. So I'll work on these. So this book is definitely a work in progress. Um, when I color, I go from book to book to book to book. I may want to color flowers today, or I may want to go to my enchanted castles, or my enchanted garden, or my medallia books, um, and pull out a page there. So I bounce from book to book to book. So it's not like you're, oh, I got to color every book, I mean every page out of the book before I can go to the next one. So great, great coloring page. I saw um, this one completed on YouTube. And they did a fantastic job. All right, so there's just a couple pages of, of, of some of Johanna's um, pages in her book. And like I said, the cardstock is very strong, so you got good, good cardstock. All right, so my first picture that I colored um, from, this, from this book is this one. Okay. Now remember, I started back in March 2020, and I learned so much from watching all the YouTube videos and the commercials. <laughs> so um, I, I really learned a lot. This particular one was a labor of love. I really took all of the things that I learned and um, put them on this page. So I'm going to zoom in now and begin to show you some of the detail. All right, I think that's, I think that's close. So what I want to show you now is just the color. The, the, we'll, we'll go around the reef. Some of these are markers. Some of these are pencil. Um, so I do multimedia when I color sometimes but uh to create the effect that i wanted on this wreath i uh 
I used both. So first of all, you can see the lovely flowers. I mean, choose your colors. Um, make sure you're using different type of green for your greenery and things like that. And uh, make sure you use a lot of different colors. Um, and this is one of the things that I saw on um, a YouTube channel. And I forgot what this little weed is, or it may be a flower. Let me see if I can scroll in. See, I can't really scroll in good, but let's, we'll just bring her out. Let's, uh, let's bring her out. I'll bring her out as far as I can. All right. So if you notice, I tried to create her, um, the little, the little things that come off of this, off of this weed. And you can notice the shading. I did browns, pinks, and a little peach. Don't forget to uh, pinpoint where the sunshine is shining on your flowers. But I thought that was a really good one I did. Um, and then what I, if you notice, I colored the, black, the background in green to really make this pop. All right. So I'm just going to slide up here to the next flower. And the bulbs came out really good. So I did a nice bright red then an orange and then a yellow now that is i believe um marker but when i work with marker i try to work with marker so that um, as long as the marker is still wet and i put down the orange it kind of bleeds so it creates its uh transition easier and i don't have to work so hard to try to create a natural transition okay so that's what i did there with those little uh red and orange and yellow um, bulbs with the pink uh, flower here just a couple of pink uh, dark pink um, flower here um, I dabbed a little uh, gel pen in the middle and there are those little things again I forgot please leave in a comment what those you know how you used to blow them when you were a kid and they used to just fly away so there's a couple more here here, there, and then a little one right there. And I just had so much fun doing those particular ones. And all I did was just got my gel pen and just did that flick, flick, flick out, flick out with the white to create that, that uh, those things that you blow away when you were a kid. All right. Um, the flowers, I tried to do different styles and techniques highlighting shading making the tips dark or making the tips lighter and if you notice those white little dashes in there it just creates a little shine on the flowers okay if you look at the greenery i chose a lot of colors for the green the greenery there's a little a couple little lights there this the uh the vine I used a sepia brown for the vine and I just left some of the vine white just to create some illusion because you can leave things white and you come over here here's my I uh, chose to make those like little lanterns um, and kind of put a little yellow hue around them and then we swing back around chose to work with a little bit of blue and then I created a little darker brown for this uh, vine just to create some color just to create some color okay and then there's the two butterflies all right so I'm gonna bring that in the middle and we're gonna transition out And there you have it. That turned out pretty. Okay. My next one is this one. A little uh, botanical garden in a glass container. Here I you I started started to work with background shading, and the background shading is actually pastel with a q-tip yes 
I use pastels with a Q-tip to create that background, that uh, red, peach, and blue background. All right. And the container is uh, here and up here. I'm just grays, a couple of uh, shades of gray, dark gray, medium gray, light gray. All right. And of course, you can make those when you color. You can do those any way you want. So I am going to zoom in just a little bit. I think that's enough right there. I tried to create as much color as I can to make it as bright as I can. Red is always a nice flower color because it just pops. And then you got some of the pink over here, yellows, blues, little purples. I didn't do too much shading on this on this one and highlighting but I wanted I wanted the the effect to be the way it is All right so I hope you like this one all right the next one I did is the car with a bunch of flowers now everyone will know soon enough that my favorite color is yellow and you'll see that throughout a lot of my uh, coloring I love yellow so this was a, another labor of love I tried to get some highlighting underneath the tires so it looked like it was parked um, I used about three colors uh, of the yellow an orange yellow a bright yellow and a you know a regular yellow for the car I used the wood area, browns, for the wood part of the, the vehicle. And then I'm just going to zoom in to just show you the bunches of flowers. There. I'm going to just bring it down here. Boom. Lots of different colors, shading. I actually did the background in blue, as you can see it. Um, try to keep my colors as vibrant you can see here where I try to uh, do something different with the greenage the foliage here and a little bit of the dark of the foliage at the bottom but I tried to use the entire color palette to create this beautiful bouquet of flowers and there's my red again so you'll see red a lot because red is such a good color and there's the top that pretty? All right, and we'll scroll out. And there you have it. Patty's truck. Bringing home a bouquet of flowers. All right, the next one that I did is, and I've seen this one on uh, on a lot of sites. Um, everybody had their great version of this coloring page. So when I saw it, I'm like, well, I'm just going to do each color a pencil and then color the flower that pencil color. So if you notice, I have red, white, violet, orange, green, blues, browns. And then I even did one a rainbow color. This one right here, a little rainbow color. And uh, yellow, black, green, and blue, dark blue. So... I'll see if I can zoom in just a little bit. So each crayon had its color. Pretty cute, right? <coughs> Excuse me. I'll zoom out. All right. And my next one, I got... <coughs> oh, excuse me. My next one, I got a lot of, of likes. A lot of likes on this one. And I'm going to try to zoom in. This is a beautiful perfume bottle. Um, this one, I, 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 I did receive a lot of, a lot of likes. Um, I wanted to try to work with just one shade of color. And then I said, you know what? I'll do one shade of colors for the vase. And then I'm going to do that butterfly in blue. And it turned out really well. So I am going to zoom in. And I'm going to zoom in. How about that? I'm going to see if I can go in one more before it. Okay. 
I'm learning my new camera, guys. How about that? So there's the butterfly. There's the butterfly. And you see the highlighting, the shadowing, and the detail. Um, and when you work in those, those, um, with those tools, you can really create a beautiful product. Okay. And here's the, and that's, the white areas are my gel pen. And then if you notice at the top of the bottle, I did some um, white markings. That's the illusion that we're working and that you're looking inside glass. You're going to be looking through glass to create that shine that uh, glass gives off when light hits it. Okay. And then here's the top. Well, thank you. So that one, that one, that one came out really, really well. Now let me zoom out because I like everybody to see that last picture. Isn't that pretty? All right. My next picture I used, I did was a little fish on a plate. My little fish on a plate there. Okay, I've seen a lot of these on Facebook as well. I seen one that the the uh, colorist colored the plate in black, and it was simply beautiful. Just simply beautiful. Um, I chose to be uh, this way for my for my liking. And I'm just gonna scroll in so you can see before. It... I'm just gonna go right out just a little bit, and one more there, so you can see the flowers flowers and, a, and around the plate, around the plate, around the plate, and then the fish. So, there you go. And you can do the fish, and the one that I saw, she did a, um, I forgot what those fish are called, but she did it all in orange, and it just was gorgeous. It was just gorgeous. Uh, and there you have it. How about that? I would like to eat off that plate. No, I wouldn't. I would hang it up. All right, and here's another one. Just practicing my skill, coloring flowers. This one I did a, a little yellow background. Little yellow background. Okay. Worked with flower detail. Okay. My little lily pads. Some blues, reds, and oranges. So that one's that one was just a um, a quick one, but it turned out pretty. Okay. The next one I'm going to show you out of jo Joanna's Best Ford's book, Fast Ford. I have to make sure I give her, um, say her name right. I seen this on the website too, on uh, on Facebook, and uh, the magical bottles, those mystical bottles. All right. So let me see if I can scroll in. I want you to look at the content, and you can see my tulips here. Just soft, gentle tulips, nothing major. And hold on just a second. Boom. And there's my bottles. Trying to create the illusion of bubbles inside the bottle. And then, uh, and then shading and detail to create this really good look. Uh, and then my tulips. Just a touch. And then my little flower here that everybody likes, this blue one. Everybody liked that blue one. It's all the blue flower is so pretty. Let me see if I can bring it in. Okay, I think that's going to be enough. All right, so let me pull out. And there you go. Pretty nice, right? 
And I've seen oh, so many versions of this, and they're all beautiful. And that's why I say you should create your own style. And uh, here's another one I did, beautiful butterfly, flowers. I did that little violet or lavender background, a little purple in the background. And uh, this one came out really pretty too. Make them, I want to get into that butterfly because butterflies are uh, yeah that looks good so that's the butterfly and the greenage the little orange flowers and I put a little dot of gel pen to create a little little yellow, little light and what else I like about this is this beautiful green leaf right here I was going to highlight it, shade it, you know, and I'm like, you know what? No, I like it just the way it is, so we're going to leave it, okay? This is for your inspiration. Take the ideas, run with them, and have fun with them. Okay. Here's another one. I haven't finished the border yet. But I just wanted to let you know that uh, I wanted to show you this one as well. Now there's a there's one thing that you will know when it comes to my work that every time there's a window, the lights will always be on. <laughs> so any coloring pages that you see that come from me, the lights will always be on, even at the front door, and even the lantern. So I was working with this one as, as well. And uh, there's all the flowers. There's all the flowers. And there's my little mushrooms. I got whimsical there with the mushrooms. And I actually used a glitter um, gel pen. But you can't see the glitter. But um, it, it, I actually used glitter. And then I came over here. And finished this side. All right. And there you have it. Let me zoom out. So that'll be a, uh, a feature of mine. All the lights will be on in, in the house. Right. Here's another. Here's another one. And what I like to focus on on this one is you can do whatever you want with your flowers. So when I saw this, um, let me, I'm just going to focus in because I want to, I want you to see this right there. You see that? I said, you know what? I am going to, <laughs> I'm going to get my brown and my yellow and I'm going to do it. And you can see where I highlighted that little shiny mark right there. Here, I'll point to it. That is, that is actually a coloring technique right there. And then the same one right there. And I'll show you guys how to do that. If you don't know already. Pretty nice, right? But that was what I concentrated on this page. And there's another set over on here. Oh, look at that pink flower right there. Isn't that a cutie? That's a cutie right there. All right, and I will zoom out. And the last couple that I'm going to show you are mistakes. Things that, things that I try to do, and I, mean, I may try to fix. I'm going to show you this one. I was trying to work with markers and pencils. And um, I put it down for a while because I wasn't happy with what um, I was, um, the outcome. But I'm going to go back in here because you can finish it. You, it. you can finish it. Same thing with this one. The flower down at the bottom, I didn't really like. But I can fix it. But I like this one. And of course my red. Okay. And then the other one is this. I was trying to work with um, lighting and how to cast a yellow shadow on objects. 
so this was my try to cast a shadow on objects and I, I didn't do too well uh, so but uh, we're gonna keep practicing okay all right that's it thank you for watching my channel please like please subscribe and I'll leave a comment say hey I like this but I didn't like that and uh, I'm gonna use this technique and um, you know whatever you want but please take take away whatever you can take um, from my channels so that you can create your own style and begin to develop your skill thank you very much and once again be inspired and color thank you